Look, as far as I know, there is a lot of you guys that are still happy with your Galaxy Watch 4. And if that is the case, let me know in the comments below. However, Samsung does these odd announcements like they did a few days ago, saying that the Galaxy Watch Fan Edition is coming out. They made that announcement way before the unpacked event well you know what it's their business we're just here to pick up the pieces if you are looking to buy a new galaxy watch 4 or maybe you think of buying a galaxy watch fan edition well let's have a look at the differences and there's some differences that we should look at on paper but there's also differences in real life the galaxy watch fan edition comes with sapphire crystal glass versus gorilla glass dx plus on the galaxy watch 4 so what does that really mean? Well, sapphire crystal glass is more scratch resistant, whereby, whereby, hang on, and here's the catch, whereby the Gorilla Glass DX Plus is more shutter resistant, which means, I mean, if you drop your watch, all bets are off anyway. One could argue that the sapphire crystal glass, because it is more scratch resistant, that when you have less scratches on your watch, it will not shutter that easily. But you know what? I have the Galaxy Watch 4 since launch date, never had any scratches on that. The Galaxy Watch Fan Edition comes in one size only, in one size, and that is 40 mil. Unlike the Galaxy Watch 4, which comes in 40 mil and 44 mil, and of course, the beloved classic version. When you look at the display size, and Samsung is obviously clever that way, when you look at their marketing pictures, everything is dark, so you don't see the bezel. Well, the display size on the Fan Edition, Galaxy Watch Fan Edition, is smaller than on the Galaxy Watch 4. Galaxy Watch Fan Edition, 1.2 inch, 1.4 for the Galaxy Watch Four. And you know what? The rest is pretty much the same. So you could say it is a rebranded Galaxy Watch 4. It has the Exynos W920 1.5 GB of RAM and 16 GB onboard storage and so on. You know the rest. But what you need to consider is the updates, right? If you look at that, the Galaxy Watch 4 will still get One UI 6 and Wear OS 5. One UI 6 watch and Wear OS 5. It's still happening this year for the Galaxy Watch 4. However, all the updates will run out next year in 2025. So this will be the last major update for the Galaxy Watch 4. And small security updates, of course, will come next year, but then it will stop. The Fan Edition, the Galaxy Watch Fan Edition, however, will come out with One UI 5. So bear that in mind. One UI 6 watch is reserved for the Galaxy Watch 7, the Big Bang released, of course. When you think about the whole concept here, my personal view is that the Galaxy Watch Fan Edition is really something that Samsung would like to put into a bundle. When you buy a new phone, for example, then you just put that into a bundle, buy one, and you get the watch for free. So that way, they get more people into the ecosystem. Of course, you can see this as an entry watch, but when you look at this from a different perspective, the Galaxy Watch 4, I mean, I saw some prices online about 60 70 us for a new brand new watch up to 100 so you have to really make that decision for yourself do i pay 100 us dollars and maybe i'm good to go for the next two three years without the updates then after 2025 you know what you should look at the galaxy watch 4 it's still a good buy and if you get it for 80 90 and even 100 us be my guest go for it i never had any problems it's still working fine the fan edition, mm, I'm not a big fan of it, although it's called fan edition. Let me know your thoughts. Peace out.